Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Very excited, very honored to share with you one of the most beautiful luxury divers that I've ever shared on the channel. Uh, this is the Blanc Pond Bathyscaphe. This is a, from the 50 Fathoms line. It's a beautiful watch uh, that was lent in by my friend Danny here, a, a local friend and watch fan. So big shout out to Danny for lending in this Blanc Pond. I'll begin by placing some dimensions here on the screen so you guys can see the size of this piece compare it to other watches in your collection. And I'll touch just briefly on the history of the watch. I think that's uh, important to understand where this falls within the Blanc Pond lineup. So as you guys know, many of you know, the, the 50 Fathoms debuted in 1953. Blanc Pond really kind of pioneered uh, the modern dive watch with the rotating bezel. A couple years after that, uh, Blanc Pond released a slightly scaled down version and arguably a little bit more refined, their Bathyscaphe. And that's what this watch is modeled off of. This is the modern Bathyscaphe, and it falls within the same segment uh, within their lineup. This is a slightly smaller version when you compare it to the larger 50 Fathoms. And one can argue a little bit more refined, but uh, don't let that fool you because this is definitely a tool watch. It can definitely hold up uh, to, any, uh, to any diving that you want to do with it. In fact, Blanc Pond even supplies a diving log within uh, the box and papers because they're encouraging you to take their watch diving. I think that's really interesting. So let's go in on a macro level. Let's take a look at this beautiful meteor gray sunburst dial. Uh, there's white printing here. When it comes to the text, we have a blacked out date wheel uh, between the four and the five o'clock positions. And what I would consider the most beautiful and brilliantly polished faceted markers that I've seen on any watch. They grab light like no other. In fact, I was handling this, this the other day and my wife who was a few feet away looked over it and said, are those diamonds on the face of that watch? Because they, <laughs> they really pop that much. Uh, it's a very impressive look. They're deep filled with, with uh, loom, so we have some potent luminescence in low light situations. And one thing that I think is interesting, if you look at that running seconds, you can see uh, the circular uh, pip there. It's actually larger in diameter than your hour markers. So uh, just a neat little detail that's very uncommon for a dive watch. Let's zoom back out and take a look at the watch as a whole. We have a ceramic bezel insert here. Very nice with all the indexing from 1 to 59 done in liquid metal. Uh, we have a domed sapphire crystal with inner AR application. And the whole watch just takes on a very nice look on wrists. My wrists are 7.25 inches in diameter. I really like the way this fits, how it sits on my wrist. The case is entirely brushed and so there is some very pleasant uh, linear uh, lines here at play. So a little bit of chamfering, but despite the entirely brushed case, the watch definitely attains a level of, of refinement and finesse on wrist. Uh, if we look from the top down profile, we can see some nice tapering, more slender lugs. I like that juxtaposition with the large sign crown at the three o'clock position with the big uh, texturing there. That just looks uh, that just looks really, really good. So let me show you the movement here, which is arguably the most impressive part of the package. So this is the in-house Cal 1315 from Blanc Pond. There's 227 pieces here, 35 jewels, and the movement ticks at 28,800 beats per hour. We also have a 120 hour power reserve. So this thing can go five days uh, before it exhausts its power supply. I think that's pretty impressive. Let's take a look at the balance. We have a free sprung balance wheel with a silicone hairspring. So the movement has some impressive anti-magnetic properties. You don't have to worry about this, you know, if you're going through airport security and it's subject to a lot of magnetic flux and fields, that's not gonna affect the timekeeping of the movement. And then if we take a look at this rotor, we have a solid gold rotor that Blanc Pond coats with a platinum alloy coating. I think that's very impressive. So the rotor is a lot heavier than a traditional stainless steel uh, rotor that you'd find on, let's say an ETA or a Rolex. So this really spins well and it has the added benefit of having a little bit of precious metal in the movement. The other thing is take a look at the detail work here. Beautiful polished edges all throughout the different plates. Uh, definitely the watch is, uh, or at least the movement, is stunningly beautiful. For a tool watch, this is a very beautiful movement. Now let's zoom back out. I'll give you my final thoughts. 
I like what Blancpain is bringing to the table here. Uh, the watch retails for $10,500. It regularly sells for around $7,000 on the secondary market. And I'm a little surprised it's not more prevalent in uh, the watch community. If you're looking for a luxury diver, you know, you're looking at the Rolex Submariner, you're, you're prepared to spend seven, eight, nine thousand dollars $9,000 on that diver, you should definitely be considering this one as well. Uh, it's arguably more impressive when it comes to the tech specs, the beauty, the fit and the finish, but it's a little bit more under the radar. Uh, Blancpain is not as well known to the lay watch fan and arguably would get you more respect from the watch idiot savant than a Rolex would. So uh, definitely one to consider if you're looking within that price tier. I'm very impressed with, the, with what they're bringing to the table, the history, the execution, the movement, the details, uh, and then the whole package too. We've got a waterproof case, and I think that's pretty interesting. This also has, uh, I showed it to you on the sail cloth, but it also has a NATO from Blancpain, and I also have the alligator uh, leather strap too, which just really takes this up a notch when you want to wear it in formal occasions. So I'm impressed. I'm very grateful to my friend for lending this in. This has just been a total treat uh, to have in hand and to share with you guys on the channel. I hope uh, through these pictures and videos you guys have come to a sense of what an impressive watch this is. I'm, I'm very impressed by this piece. Other than that, guys, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.